I'm gonna be honest. The first episode didn't give me that much. I don't like the theme song. It, it just felt really rushed. But I'm gonna give the second episode a chance. I ain't just gonna throw the baby away with the bathwater. But I'm wondering, is this too much of the power universe? Am I just getting eye strain from always trying to look into the darkness? Because they shoot this show so dark. If you try to watch it in the daytime, you're like, I can't see any of this. So the episode opens with Tommy looking over Lake Michigan. He gets a call from his brother because his bar has been shot up. But by who? Because I don't think the Flins knew they was related. So Tommy asks his brother, was y'all dealing out of here? I mean, the place just don't get shot up for no reason. And you ain't calling family. He said, you the only family I got. Tommy said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if you want to run into that burning building just yet. I got a lot of shit with me. And then the guy says, well, I can't even call my ex-husband. And Tommy looks like a little shot, but just a little shot. He said, you got a problem with that? Tommy like, child, X to X, please. If it ain't my pussy, I don't care. Tommy like, I dealt with a secret sissy or two. I do not care. It's nice to see that attitude reflected. It's nice to see people like, okay, all right, so you gay and, and. Meanwhile, with Big Boss Flynn, he's getting a call from an oncologist about test results, so you know what that means. And he's looking a little peaked. So the son walk in on the father coffin, and the son knows he's sick, and he's like, let's get ahead of this before it ends up like mom, and let's tell Chloe. And he's like, Chloe can't know. Nobody can know. Well, honey, you walk around hacking like that, people gonna figure it out. But with the brothers, they're doing a little boxing practice, and the brother who's still in the business said, I want to introduce you to these stone-cold killers. He's like, don't bring them nowhere near me. They're bad for business. And he's telling him, oh, well, things have changed in 15 years. No, they haven't. Stupid choices are still stupid choices. That's why he was in prison. Lord, so Tommy pull up in some neighborhood by the garages, and then he gets tackled by this heifer. And who is it but the girl in the purple shoes? I just wanted to get more of Clue's mouth, chunky heel, but we gotta wait till next season for that. Yeah, I feel like three franchises is too much. It, it It's okay for it to go off and us to miss it. So before they could off each other, the police roll up. And so they just stand there like they ain't doing nothing. Then the cop drive off and they walk away from each other. But they like, it's on sight. It's on sight. Honestly, I didn't need to see Purple Heels again. Lord, but with Maya, uh, she gets out of the shower, but immediately just puts a robe on. She, she don't dry off. And I'm like, wait, you just going to put a... A robe on and have the wet robe up. Oh, honey, that don't make no sense. Nobody doing that in real life. Who who put this together? Lord. But while she's still shy, dripping dry, in come Vic. So he's trying to get some put. And she's like, I can't do this no more. Ain't nobody else. I'm just tired of you. So they can't be together because she black. And she's like, I ain't gonna spend my life running from the Irish mob. I'm sorry, honey, it just ain't gonna work. So she asked for her key back, and he said, you better change the locks. So he's very Tommy. And I think somehow we gonna find out Tommy, who's Tommy's father? Watch it be Flynn. Watch it be Flynn. Or his grandpapa. Later that afternoon, Tommy drops by the barbershop looking looking for Diamond's brother. So Diamond asks him who he worked for, and he say nobody, and then they talk about his old boxing career, which I guess he had before he went to the who scow. So he give them they drugs and they money back, and he's like, uh, the drugs were stepped on with baby aspirin, so you have fun with your crap, but I'ma head on out. See, it's this these parts that, like, they're just not explaining clearly enough. Oh... So then Tommy go to leave, but security try to start some shit with him. And then two goons run in from outside. And Diamond tells him, look, put your guns away. But they're waiting for the orders from the brother. So now we see the brothers really running things and going to pull Diamond back into the bull. Meanwhile, Tommy peeping all of this. He's like, y'all will do all this infighting in front of people? You're just letting your slip show. 
putting your business in the street. So the brother finally tells them to stand down. Diamond hands his brother the bag with the drugs and the money and goes to have a chat with Tommy. Lord! But then, uh, right as they walking and talking, he asking him why he trying to make friends in Chicago. Tommy, like, I'm trying to make moves. They get kidnapped. Apparently, the people in prison want Diamond to do another job for them. So they got bags thrown over their head and getting thrown in the car. So now we got Diamond and Tommy tied up in some warehouse on chairs. Diamond getting a pistol whipping for putting El Jefe in a wheelchair. He gonna say, I knew you'd come for me. Then why ain't you hide? So they tell them, look, y'all gonna move these eight bricks of hair on and give us our money or we gonna kill you. See, y'all already look weak. So they got three hours to sell this hair on. Tommy, if I were you, I'd just get out of Dodge and also get a more nondescript car. Meanwhile, we got the siblings, and she wants Dad to expand into chemical compound drugs, but he's not into that designer look. He also ain't into his son marrying black women, so both y'all got issues with your pappy. I'm sure he doesn't like your lesbonics either. So with Tommy and Diamond, they out trying to sell these drugs, and you can see the popo is everywhere, from cruisers to ghetto birds. But now they trying to kidnap Diamond's brother to make shit more interesting. No simultaneous cons. They always go bad. So he dropped Tommy off at some auto place and Tommy hides the hair on under a dumpster. He go in and do the little exchange and deals with a woman everybody called Auntie or Tia. So she pay him and he's like, all right, Tia, I'm going to work with you later because you know I'm a free agent. I ain't just out here for Rojos. So they back in the car talk about the drug game, the old angles versus the new angles and how the kids just don't know how to do it no more. They think everything is snap your fingers. They don't see the work, the decades of dealing. Lord, but then the row host called them and they said, baby brother dies if you ain't finished in an hour. Meanwhile, with the siblings and they pappy, the daughter trying to get the dad to go into the new drugs. But he tell his daughter, look, just do the books. He runs the streets. Oh, Lord. So Tommy go to the next job. This fool take a bump and nod out. He just. So, of course, we get a racist cop incident, but Tommy come out just in time and calm him down and give him his license and registration. I was also like, do not open that glove box because, you know, four guns and a grenade gone fall out. It's Tommy's car. So they go to get the brother, and they got three guys there with lasers pointed at them. They come down with the beat-up brother. Every dime better be in there. So they make the trade and head off. And Diamond breaks Tommy off a cute little 25000 Diamond said, I see why you came along. You found out all the spots. Tommy said, and what of it? So Tommy go to uh, his grandma's house, and his brother's there. So Tommy gives his brother the money that he made for the club for damages. He don't take the money from Tommy, but Tommy just put it down on a table. He goes to get a home video and he says, so I finally figured out who this is. Oh, it's a video of young Kate and young Tommy. So now we find out the brother got a son he ain't talked to because the mama kept him away because the daddy was gay. So he says, you know, I don't know really how having a brother works, but I'd like to try. And Tommy says, oh, I, I know how it is having a brother. I had a brother once. Ghost. However, cut to Tommy sitting on his trunk. And he didn't gotten the guy and the girl that kidnapped them earlier in his trunk. Talking about wait till Rojas gets here. What he gonna do when he wheel up? And clearly he can't hire good help. He took out both of yous? Pathetic. Tommy blew them up so thoroughly you'd have thought it was me in the bathroom. And then Tommy go by the barbershop and show him the shirt as a trophy. And Tommy walk away and he's like, and now you owe me one more. Ooh, he crafty. Crafty little honker. So after Tommy's run his little errands, he go to the bar and start flirting with Maya and Vic across the street just watching him. Mm-hmm. 
But hey, here's the thing. If you wanted to run away with your love, you could have been had the chance. I'm sorry. If you loved her so much, you should have offed your pappy and the other people. You could have thrown a red wedding real easy. Gotten rid of anybody who was going to get rid of you and hurt your boo. But you waiting for cancer to kill your father. You can't do it yourself. Pathetic. So Tommy tell her, I know you getting shaken down by the local gang. You want me to uh, hit Junior with the pop, pop, pop? Baby, don't you write that next check. Because I can make those bops connect. So Tommy tells her he's decided to stay. Tommy goes to this place that says Felice, gets the guy to leave. Apparently they was holding poker games or something there. Tommy, you lived in nicer places than this. This is a little too dank. I, I can smell it through the screen. So Tommy go by a purple heel house and he get the drop on her. And he's like, how'd you find me? Who sent you for me? And she said, I heard you were in town and figured you was here to kill me. Nobody knows nothing about you. And so while he's trying to kick her head and it crashes through a fake floor plate and he sees she's got a kilo of cocaine, coke, cocaine, cocaine, a cocaine, cocaine. And he said, let's be friends again to sell this cocaine. I want to connect simple and plain. To sell cocaine. All right, y'all. Well, that was the shit. And I'm going to see you soon for RuPaul's Drag Race.